Hey to everyone out there watching, welcome back after the short break in the Elite Series that seems like it took forever. It's JT from Keystone Crew Outdoors. Thanks for watching and your continued support of the channel, making us Northeast PA's number one show about fantasy fishing. We're also the only one, but you know, we'll take it when we can get it. Uh, since Chickamauga was so long ago, we're just going to jump right into, uh, right into it without a recap. Uh, it's a good time to right your boat and... Uh, Think of it as a restart to your season. Uh, with five events left, there's still time to sign up and possibly earn some prizes from the different sponsors that are out there and the, the last few events that are on the schedule. You can sign up at BassmasterFantasy.com and join the crew by searching the Groups tab for Keystone Crew. If you like the info we give each tournament, feel free to like and subscribe. If you don't, oh well, I'm going to continue doing it anyway. Um, so let's jump into it with our picks for the Elite Series. Stop here at Lake Fort, Quitman, Texas, from May 19th through the 22nd, 2022. As always, I'm going to get started with my gut picks. Uh, these are the picks that I, I take right when the buckets are released, uh, you know, without any of the research or anything like that. Um, for bucket A, I take in Brandon Polnick. Bucket B, Chris Zaldane. Bucket C, Brandon Card. Bucket D, Chad Pipkins. Uh, and Bucket E, Skylar Hamilton. All right, here's my research picks. Uh, once again, I power rank these picks from the Bass Pundits, different articles I read and videos I watch. Uh, so I'm going to do things a little differently. Usually I give you uh, the, the cruise pick, maybe a backup pick, and then, uh, you know, my pick. Uh, but I'm just going to give you the power ranking. Now, these are going in order, okay? So for bucket A, I have Stetson Blaylock uh, as my number one. He's uh, got 10.8% owned out there. Uh, number two is Brandon Polnick, 21.6%. I have Patrick Walters sitting at third with 22.8%. Uh, fourth, I have Drew Cook, 1.4%. And fifth, I have Brandon Lester at 1.1%. Like I said earlier, though, my pick uh, that I'm going with is Brandon Polnick. And the Cruz pick is Stetson Blaylock. Bucket B, uh, my power rankings go like this. I have Seth Fighter at number one with 10.8%. Uh, Jason Christie has 20% sitting at number two. Uh, Chris Zaldane is the third that I have ranked here, but he's got 36.3% owned. Chris Johnson has 3.5%. He's in, coming in at number four. And number five, I have Cody Huff at 0.5%. My pick, though, I'm going with Chris Zaldane. Uh, and the cruise pick is Seth Fighter. Bucket C, uh, I have Jay Yields with 2.6% sitting at one. Brandon Card, number two, with 16.8% uh, owned. Uh, Jeff Gustafson I have as my third-ranked angler with 4.1% owned. Caleb Summerall, 4.1%, uh, sitting there at uh, fourth. Uh, Carl Jockmussen, 8.7% owned as fifth. And Brock Mosley is uh, my sixth uh, with 19.9%. I know C was tough. I, I couldn't really narrow it down, so I, I put six on that one. My pick, though, I'm sticking with Brandon Co uh, Brandon Card. I almost said Cobb, uh, with 16.8% of the vote. And uh, I have uh, the crew pick is Jay Yields with 2.6. Might be a sneaky good pick there. Bucket D, uh, everybody's on this one for my power ranking, so it's no surprise. Lee Livesey, he's got 68% owned out there. I don't know that I've ever seen a percentage that high. So if you want to go with the pack and then it won't really hurt you if he fumbles, uh, go with Livesey. Uh, if not, um, you might get lucky and, you know, 68% of the people that own him are, will be out there. So he's my number one. My number two, I have Chad Pipkins with 2.8%. Three, I have Austin Felix, 2.8%. Uh, then I have, uh, let's see, number four, uh, Masayuki Matsushita with 1%. And then I have to put my hometown favorite in there, as always, because, you know, I want him to win Rookie of the Year. Uh, Jonathan Kelly is my fifth rank, ranked angler with 0.2% out there owned. Uh, my pick, though, is Chad Pipkins with 2.8%, and the crew's pick is Lee Livesey. 68%. We're going with the with the, the, the pack there. Uh, bucket E, I have Keith Combs at 44.2% uh, owned, and he's my number one ranked. Uh, Skylar Hamilton sitting at number two with 2.1%. Justin Atkins uh, is with 1.5% uh, owned. Uh, Kyle Welcher, 16%. 
And then uh, I have Mike Iconelli with 6.7% owned. My pick, though, is Skylar Hamilton, 2.1% uh, owned. And the Cruz pick is Keith Combs, 44.2% owned. Tie-breaking weight, I'm going uh, high, but I, I still think I'm going to be a little low on it. Uh, I'm going with 117 pounds, 13 ounces. I, I think it's going to be a slugfest. Fish are big in that, that uh, lake, and uh, it's even at a point where everybody's going to have a judge with them. Uh, so the it, Bass Track Live will be updated pretty frequently. Um, I don't think they could bring it back to the launch unless it's 24 inches or, or longer. So uh, I don't expect to uh, have a, a weight winning weight under the hundreds here. Um, so just summarize my gut picks. Picks I'm going with. I got Paul Nick for bucket A. Bucket B, I have Chris Zaldane. Bucket C, Brandon Card. Bucket D, Chad Pipkins, and Bucket E, Skylar Hamilton. Uh, the research picks say, though, and this is what the Keystone crew is going with, Bucket A, I have Stetson Blaylock. Bucket B, Seth Fighter. Bucket C, Jay Yields. Bucket D, Lee Livesey. And Bucket E, we have Keith Combs. Uh, Mercury Drain the Lake. Um, it's an elimination survivor style game. We're, we're getting low. The lake's probably about halfway drained at this point. Can only use the anglers once all season. Only five events left. Four after the fork. So uh, here's my picks for Lake Fork here. We got Keith, Coom Keith Combs, Daryl Gleason, Jamie Hartman, Lee Livesey, Masayuki Matsushita, uh, Chad Pipkins, Patrick Walters, and Chris Zeldane. So that, that kind of summarizes all my picks, what I think is going to happen. Um, if you like my info, like and subscribe to the channel. Basquatch is watching. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. Bye.